Congratulations on the win. You always want that first, but also for you personally, third all-time receiving with your six catches today. How are you feeling all in all? Yeah, a win's a win. <laughs> Uh, obviously, there's things that you just, uh, you know, you, you wish you could have done a little bit better on as, a, as an offense, as an individual. And, like, you go back to that tape, and I always tell you guys, you know, first thing you do is you go look at that tape and you look at yourself, try to figure out how you could have done better to help the team win. Um, but a win's a win, and it feels good. And um, it's, it's great to just keep finding a way. Um, our defense was huge today. Um, we were able to score touchdowns and score field goals and some of those turnovers, which I think was huge. And, um, you know, it's exciting to continue to find ways to win and then be able to go look at the tape and, and continue to get better. I mean, stemming the tide is never easy when you feel them coming back, but it's almost like you guys are used to it now. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, I think I think a lot of guys are relying on a lot of experience, you know, uh, experience from last year, ex experience from previous years in our careers, and, and, then, and then the confidence from this year, from this team, this family that we're um, kind of just this bond that we're building. Um, it's, just, it's just providing um, a lot of confidence that we can just go out there and not have to be perfect because we know in this league you're not going to be perfect. So um, that, that's just building our confidence. It makes it easier, too, when you have Galvin running the way he did, 111 yards, and Deuce as well, right? Yeah, those guys are huge. I mean, um, for Deuce to finish that one, uh, score a touchdown, I told him that's huge because you get stopped on this two-yard line. Like, it's, it's tough sometimes to, to score there. So um, that was a big play, obviously, Delvin. He, he's, he's such an integral part of this offense and this team to help us win games. So uh, we're going to keep, keep kind of riding his performance and, and uh, hopefully continue to, to get him going and, and help our offense move the ball. And it would seem like you guys really spread the ball around today, too. Delvin and Alexander, you and Justin. How much is that a part of your identity? Yeah, I think it's. I think you go back to OTAs and like uh, it, it's not just it's not just talk. You know, I think when we go to OTAs and coach comes in with a new culture and a new mindset and all these new this new staff and new um, plays and all that, um, it's not just talk. Because then we go on the field and we actually spread the ball. He talks about the amount of playmakers we have, the amount of guys that can do things at a high level to help this team win. And then you go out there on Sunday and actually and actually show that. Uh, again, we got to get a lot better. Um, you don't want to get overconfident because we know that we could have played a lot better um, on, on offense or individually. So um, go look at this tape. And, and I'll, again, that's, it's always good to be able to go look at the tape after a win. How would you describe Kirk's touchdown run? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. It, it was pretty funny because uh, I, I forget what day it was, but um, showed Kirk in the offensive meeting against them. Uh, was it last year or two years ago whenever we played him there? And he had a big run. Uh, and uh, they showed him that run, so I think it was kind of uh, uh, giving him a little confidence getting out and uh, running. So I don't know what he hit speed-wise, but uh, but it was pretty good. What happened in the play you were injured? Uh, no, I just banged up my knee. Okay. Talking about the way this offense is moving, does it feel like it's become a little bit more efficient in ways? Like you guys are able to stay out of longer yardage situations? It is. I think I think that's something we've been good at though this whole year. Um, as I say that, I had a bad penalty that that set us into a, a bad start. But um, but I think that's something we've been really good at and uh, something we learned from from last year. You know, starting a lot of drives first and twenty last year, and that's something that we've really pride ourselves on to to get efficient plays, get going. Um, you know, get the running game going and the play action and stuff like that on first down. So uh, we're going to need to continue to do that. And uh, we just got to continue to try to find that consistency of, of keeping drives alive, you know, gets crucial moments, to, you know, no three and outs and try to convert some of those, those tough third and five, six, you know, when you're trying to run some clock and try to convert some of those to just put the game away. Adam, talk about spreading the wealth also on defense. You touched on it. Troy Dye, Zadarius, you know, Cam Dantzler, everyone coming up. Harrison Smith, big splashes today. They seem to just be kind of hitting their stride that way. Always in the fourth, it seems, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about our defense. Just the way that they're playing together, the, the energy they're bringing. Um, I've never seen Pat P with so much energy and excitement the last couple weeks. So um, he's he's an unbelievable football player and is so huge for this defense and, and the culture that we're building. So... Um, I mean, there's so many guys. I wish I could just name off all the guys because, um, you know, and we, we look back to, again, like training camp, OTAs, like they've been putting this stuff on tape. Uh, we know that they can be a really good defense, and they just seem to find a way each week to, to get in their groove and to play together, that complimenting football. It's not just one guy here or there. It's, it's a lot of guys making plays. Hey, Adam, you guys did hit a little bit of a wall in that third quarter. What allowed you to pull out of it, do you think, and just, you know, just snap out of it and keep going and keep putting points on the board? Yeah, I think, again, it just comes with confidence and a little bit of experience because uh, we've had those in the past. And uh, just the confidence that, hey, just keep putting, pushing forward, keep taking it one play at a time, and at some point someone's going to make a play to, to get us out of that. 
and uh, you know our defense stepped up and it gets a turnover and allows us to just go down there and, and punch it in, which I think was a huge part of, uh, of the game to be able to get that turnover and score a touchdown. Um, um, I think is huge and, and probably something that's not going to be talked about, but it was probably one of the biggest uh, parts of that game, that complimenting football, you know, getting the, the turnover on the punt, getting the turnover on defense, and then going and scoring. So uh, we got to continue to do that. Thanks, guys. 11 yards, rushing, 30, receiving a touchdown. Um, you were doing it all today. How do you feel? I feel great. My face, though. My face got me. My face hurt, man. My God. This is one of those games, one of those games where – you know, KO got me going early, setting the standard what type of day it was going to be. So just just having to stick with it all game and, and finding some plays and you know, being more consistent, I think that's what we're hunting right now, that consistency as a, as a whole team. And I think once we find that, we'll be, we'll be good. Delvin, what happened to you? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know, what type, I know it was physical out there, but I don't know. I had a helmet on. I don't know. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but it's a little smooth. You might want to get some ice on that. Yeah, I'm done with you, I'm done with you guys. You know, y'all are very important. So <laughs> I'm done with y'all. I'm going to go in there and get some boxer treatment, um, and we're going to be good. But just one of them type of days, man, leaning on my offensive lineman. You know, the face don't really matter. The W column, that's all that matters. And <laughs> yeah, we 6-1, and one, and you know, just keep stacking. How many style points on Kirk's rush into the end zone? The, the reach out with the ball. Everybody underestimate how fast he is. They not running as fast. He running by everybody. <laughs> it's like a video game, man. Um, but I'm happy for Kurt getting the end zone, getting us in that rushing category, and getting us on the board, man. Just starting fast, ending fast. That was important for us, and you no, know, we did that. Do you know what led him where your neck was? Yeah, he, he, I'm gonna put it on his neck. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, how do you get that big a shiner while wearing a helmet? I gotta go back and watch tape. I think somebody did something or something. I think somebody did something on the pile or something. I don't know what happened. I know I came to the side like everybody like, oh. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, what y'all talking about? Yeah, look at your face, man. I seen it. I did the wall too. And it was, now we here. I'm in front of y'all in front of the national TV just looking crazy. <laughs> but we all right. We got the win. <laughs> What would you say is now the identity, not only of the offense, but this team? Is it the same? Is it different? Which is it? <sighs> the feeling, man. The feeling going to work, the feeling of coming back in this locker room, the feeling of being around these guys is fun. It's contagious. It's just everything about this group just mean family. And K.O. brought that with him day one when he walked in the building of, of how we want to play what type of team you want to be outside of this stadium. You know, just just having that fun and having – just building that culture around here is, is fun. And, you know, like I said, we still hunting a lot of things to get where we need to go at. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy I'm on this team with these guys and, and headed in the right direction. When it comes to the defense too, right, it seems like, especially in the fourth quarter, but these guys are always going to come up with a big, huge play to help you out. Yeah, K.O. appreciate that a lot, just going to hunt and get the ball back. Just that one more play. Let's go, let's go find us that one more play. Go, they go make a play on defense, and they do it every time. You know, salute those guys. When they come out the field with that energy, and you see how they look, and you got no choice but to go out there and be ready to play. So, man, salute those guys, and like I said, appreciate them so much. And it's not only Z. You get a guy like Troy Dye that really comes up with that game yeah. changer in a way, right? Our special teams, they mm -hmm. they done became their own. And you know, we know that as a team that we got a a dangerous special team that can go out there and make some plays and get us in some football games, win us some games. You know, they just got to keep going. And you know, we got some guys on there that could be starters on somebody's defense. So we just happy we got those guys out there running around, flying around. Troy, Chris Boyd, Metellus, all those guys, Brian. They, it's, it's fun watching them. I get up and watch special teams just because of those guys. Like, they go out there and fly around. So just happy to have those guys. Luigi and Mario, right? Just know who they were, right? That's that duo. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think the, the run game is just so effective today? This is kind of the most consistent, best game of the year. Um, just sticking with it, leaning on those guys up front. We had a great week, great week of preparation, like knowing what we was going to do in the game plan, sticking with it, and I think that's all it took. It wasn't nothing magical that we did out there. You know, we called the play, stuck with it, O-line leaned on some people. I found some openings, and you know, here I am standing in front of y'all. At what point will it be time to get Kirk in the We're working on it. We're working on it behind closed doors. We're working on it. He, surprise, Kurt. We're working on it. <laughs> Have you seen a difference in him in terms of he's kind of having more fun, right? And he, he's kind of 
letting himself make fun of himself, like Kirk. He's kind of opening up off the field as well. It's been that way, to be honest. It's been that way. Like, being around him every day and just, he's been that guy. Like, he's been who he is. Like, we know who Kirk is. Like, y'all just seeing it now. Like, it's just more openly. But like, he gets so much on his plate. Like, so much come with just being Kirk Cousins. Like, like that's why we there for him so much. Like, he gets so much behind just who he is. And who he is is a great person. Like, he's a good quarterback, great quarterback, great person off the field. And I just, I'm just glad he's on my team. Were you shocked that Garrett Bradbury gets a taunting? Right? If you would have heard what it was, like, it was just like, you soft. Like, that's it. That's all he said. He said, you soft. <laughs> they was going at it, and Garrett just said, you soft. And the ref threw the flag up in there. Like, it was just like some non, like football talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, taking the fun out of the game. But Garrett didn't do nothing crazy. Like, Garrett ain't that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like, he next play mentality, but we had a good run, and he said what he said, and that was it. <laughs> You ever seen a center get a taunting? I never seen it. I never seen it. I never seen it. But he knew it was on him, though. He knew it was on him. He was like, "Yeah, that's on me for." Like, it was, it was fun, man. Like, like things like that. Yeah, it was. A, it was. It was. It hurt us, but you know, just my old line, just just being that tough group, you know, setting that standard up front. You know, I take it any day. Does being six and one change the way you look at the season or alter your goals? Zero zero. Every time we reset this thing, we go back on Monday. Ko zero zero. And that's the mentality of this locker room. Like every day, you see guys come in just trying to like find something to get better at, which we know it's a lot out there on the table for us to get better at. But you know, we we always come back Monday, slate clean, zero zero, put the film to bed, and then zero zero mentality. Washington up next, so we gotta go win us a game. Game. Yes, ma'am. You had fun out there today. Yes, ma'am. Had an opportunity to uh, take a week off. I uh, get to spend some time with family and eat good. So, you know, coming back from that, it was big for the team and big for myself. Yeah. Eat good on the field, too. Though. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Most that definitely. first sack out of the way, is that kind of like a personal thing for you? Like, let me just get into the flow, let me get this done, or what? Mm, somewhat. Once I get one in the first quarter, I know that there's plenty more to be made, you know. So that's how I look at it um, when I'm coming in the game. And if I get one at the first at the first quarter, I know that I can possibly get one or two more. But we, it showed today. The show you, today. you knew you were doing Jared's celebration on the first one? Yeah, we had talked to him, uh, I think it was Tuesday when we came back to work, and uh, he was there, and um, I was telling him, like, look, if I get a sack, I'm going to hit it one time. So he uh, demonstrated to me and showed me how to do it, and as you can see, we pulled it out today. Yeah, you didn't even yeah. put the knee down. You had a I know, right? Too, right? I'm happy for him, too. <laughs> yep. What happened when you got banged up? Sedarius. Banged up? Uh, I went down on my knee. Uh, I don't know if everybody knew about it, but I had a slight little knee injury uh, week two or week three. Um, but he fell on it, and I felt it, but it went away. So came back out there, as you can see. Yeah, most definitely. Seven games into the season, you have a three-game lead in the division. Yes, sir. What does that mean to you? Uh, it feels good. Um, I just hate that people still not talking about us. Uh, but it's okay. We'll continue to be the underdogs, man, and keep going to work each and every day, getting better. What does it mean about this team that no matter how long your defense is out on the field, it seems like in the fourth quarter, you guys are coming up with big splash mm -hmm. plays right when the team needs it the most. Uh, I feel like it's the chemistry, um, just off the field. You know, when we get a chance to be with each other off the field, and, you know, it's, it could be the little things, playing the game with each other. Mm -hmm. um, if we continue to do that and learn each other's weakness and what we're good at, man, and the coach see it and have us give us an opportunity to go beat our one-on-ones, we could be a great football team. Now, as you can see, six and one. You've been it's a great on, feeling. You've been on great football teams in Green Bay. Does this feel like a great football team? Uh, yes. Yes. Because as a group and as a whole, we're treated like family, and everybody is really like family. And like you say, you got a younger coach. Coach want to know what the players want. And that's a good thing to have on a football team. So, as you can see, man, six and one. It's a great feeling. Uh, can't wait to go outside and see my family. But yeah, most definitely. This That's my cue. This ah. one felt personal for Pat. The, 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 yeah. Was, we saw his energy all mm -hmm. um, Was that the case? Oh, it was. Last night, I think, uh, him and uh, 58 Hicks, um, mm -hmm. they, they stood up and gave us a speech on what it's about. And uh, if we start fast and hit them in the mouth, we could basically come out with a dub. And as you can see, we, that happened today. And for those guys to be over here on this side, uh, I kind of know the feeling because I play my team twice a year, but they play their team once. So... To get a dub from both teams is big, man, and I'm just so happy, man, to be on this football team.
When you watch Kirk Cousins, not only take it and run mm-hmm. it in for the first time, oh, yeah. but dive. <laughs> I told Kirk, I said, man, look, we're going to have to put the chains back on your neck because, uh, man, you got some swagger today. So he was running, man. Great for him, man. Happy for him. You know, it all starts at practice. Um, He's been doing it all week and been doing it constantly, uh, getting out of pocket under pressure. So it's big for him, man, a big step um, in the right direction for our football team. Darius, uh, they crossed the midfield three times in the last mm-hmm. seven minutes. So Uh, we're just going to continue to work, um, get better. Man, look, we just got to go watch the film. We're going in tomorrow, get a chance to watch the film and learn from our mistakes. Calvin says y'all got uh, a chain in the works for Kirk. Yeah, yeah, we do, man. We're going to, don't tell anybody, but we're going to do something for, something for him for Christmas. We're going to pull something out of a Christmas chain for him. Probably with a Christmas tree on it or something. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate it. Thank Thank y'all. Is that fair? Yeah, that's very fair. Why? I've been told a lot of things about me with the other organization. I get fan mails from the owner saying that they, I can't tackle. I'm old. I lost it. So I wanted to show them that. Now, what did you convey in your speech to the team last night along with Jordan? You know, honestly, I didn't say anything. Okay. You know, Joy, I, let, I let Jordan uh, do the speaking. The DBs in the room, they knew what I was going to be on. I didn't, have, I didn't have to say one word yesterday all this week. You said a lot on the field. Every I time did. you made a play, you oh, were yeah. part of their sideline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Why? purposely. Purpose. And I'm still waiting on Steve Kahn to call me. Still haven't talked to him yet. Really? No. But he sent you emails? Was that him that was sending you emails? Who was doing that? Uh, I don't know. Someone was sending emails to the, you know, to the owners, and then I get them on my chair, just things like that, you know. You're talking about this week? No, no when, when I was there. there. Yeah. Somebody was leaving emails mm-hmm. about you couldn't tackle on your chair in the locker room. And they, would, and they said they went to the fact to say, as long as I was on the team, they wasn't going to be a season ticket holder anymore. I think his name, was, his name was John H. Berry, if I'm not mistaken. Any message for John H. Berry today? <laughs> you see me. <laughs> you see me. But also, why would they print it out and leave it on your chair too, right? That's, that, that was the mind-boggling thing to me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? What did I do to deserve this from a fan? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, you've been talking all week, too, about how well you're used here and how you can take it to your advantage. Um, it speaks volumes, too, right, that it's not about the level of play that's left in the age of the athlete. Sometimes it's how they're used. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, you have to be able to put your guys in the best position possible and understand your personnel. You know, yeah. You may think something that you've did over a course of your of your coaching career or, or over your time may work, but at the same time, the guys are out there executing the plays. You know, and if an offense see you doing something over and over and over and over again, they're going to attack it. You know, so defenses are meant to keep teams out the end zone. They can drive the ball up and down the field all they want to. We just can't allow them to score. You know, so just things like that that I that I had to deal with. Enough about them, though. It was a great team performance. Uh, Harry coming up with his, he's still ahead of me with his, uh, what he got, 33 picks right now on his career. So I'm chasing him. Uh, offense played wonderful. Special team is continuing to do their thing week in and week out. And defense, again, we, we found our way, uh, found ourselves on the field, having to get off the field, and that we did. Are there things you could help your unit with when you're playing against Kyler Murray, things that you maybe know from your experience that, have, that maybe paid off today? Uh, just, just understanding your rush lanes, just understanding – um, you know, what he likes to do, you know, when he when he is attempting to break the pocket. You know, we, we understood that um, if, the, if the lanes are open in front of him, he want to he want to squirt out, you know, uh, in between the, uh, the in, in between the A, the A gaps and try to get out that way. And if he rolls out, he's looking to pass the ball a little bit more. So just understanding, you know, his mannerisms when he's out there on the field. So, Pat, when you were doing your video game celebration after Harry's pick, what game were you pretending to play? I think it was Call of Duty. That's what they call it, Modern Warfare or something like that. I'm not a gamer, so I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about video games. I just heard that game just came out. No, she did a yoga pose after too. I did. Man, I was in my, I was in a whole nother zone today, man. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> What's the message to your former quarterback and all that? Man, just keep getting better, keep grinding, man, and block out the noise. <laughs> Is there a part of you that um, you put the Cardinals aside and you want the league to know that you're, I think, 
Oh yeah, I still got it. I still got it. All I heard the last two years, he's washed up, he's done. Yeah, I know. I still we got a you know second half of the season going, but I'm just getting started. Like I'm in my zone right now. I'm in a groove. I've been here before. I know how to keep it, and I want to continue being challenged, continue to helping this team win ball games. Because I promise you this: if I get challenged, I will show up on the stat sheet, and that's why I've been missing out on Pro Bowls and All Pros. I'm here. 12 years in, I'm still standing strong. You said people aren't targeting you. Yeah, I mean, I mean the proof is in the pudding. Tennessee, how about just both you and Jordan Hicks coming up big against your, your former team? I mean, did you guys ha- have discussions like during the game, okay, this is going to come because you made the notice team in and out? And how about just both of you guys coming up big and getting game ball? Man, you know, uh, I think it was um, <clears throat> it was big for both of us to have, you know, make plays into this game because – I'll let George speak for his experiences over there. But, um, yeah, you know, um, I, I thought, you know, we played well. We had a extreme focus. And the guys, you know, the guys went out there, you know, and played, you know, extremely well. And I just told the guys before we went out there, if you don't know what it looked like, follow me. Because I'm going to show you energy, passion, and a desire to go out here and want to win this football game. And everybody else follow. You know, you talk about being on the field for a long time, but still finding okay. still finding the juice somehow to come up with a big play in the fourth. What is it about this defense that no matter how long or what's been happening, you can do that? Uh, we're just optimistic. You know, we work on it every single day, turnovers. It's a mindset. It's built in us, and we're just waiting on that moment. <clears throat> just waiting on that moment to where we can just go take the ball away from the opposing offense. <laughs> Man, that was bad on my behalf because I thought I thought it was no one over there because the two receiver, the two receivers was already up the field. So I'm thinking once he catch it, he's gonna stride onto the end zone. So that's why I started dancing. I was probably a little premature, premature, but like I said, I'm still trying to catch him. Man, he got 33, I got 31, so I got two more to two more to get to him. You didn't stop dancing either. You were dancing that whole after they got the CD. I saw you dancing. Kurt came by. You were dancing. <laughs> How much fun was it? Man, it's, it's, it's fun being around these guys. It's fun coming to work each and every day. Um, it's fun being around the coaching staff. I mean, these guys make it fun to be around. You know what I mean? You just you want to soak up these moments, soak up these memories. Um, because I've been in the league for 12 years. I've been, I had a, a record like this 6-1 and one maybe once. You know, so they don't come around very often. So that's why I tell these guys time in and time out, enjoy the moment, embrace the moment but continue to trust the process as well. What did you think of Kurt's touchdown? The first one to run? Oh, man, that was that was classic. And crazy thing about it, I don't know what it is. Kurt always scores against the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. He had one against us mm-hmm. in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, and he did a little Kodak, yep. Kodak dance. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess Kurt, was, yeah, Kurt has something against them, against those guys as far as rushing touchdown. I believe, what, got three now? Three, yeah. Two I or three for three. sure? Yeah. Hey, so – Got Kurt Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Congrats. Bye guys. Happy-